Welcome back to our Ocarina of Time playthrough series. This is Loud Boy. Today, we're going into the depths. Into some kind of horrifying stuff in the bottom of the well. We're going to go back in time, using a little bit of time travel. We have a very important item we must get at the bottom of the well. We're going to meet a new monster called the Dead Hand. And this guy is pretty disgusting. Pretty creepy. Also, some heart pieces we're going to get along the way. A few prizes, Gold Skull Tella, and we're going to cash in on uh, 50 Gold Skull Tellas. Uh, that's a nice little bench mark to reach to get a, a piece of heart. Uh, we're going to go to Zora's River briefly. We're going to go to uh, the little village outside the castle. There's something to, that we have to do at the castle. Um, but we're going to do all this today, and we're going to have a good time. And then we're going to go into the bowels of hell, and that is the bottom of the well. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. But yes, uh, the lens of truth. That's what's down there. And we need that to do in our next installment. We're going to the Shadow Temple as adults. But first, we must travel back in time to the dewy slopes of yesterday, where young Link will face off against some really horrifying demons in the bottom of the well. That's what we're doing. This is Loud Boy. I thank you for being here. Let's go get him. Here we go. The bottom of the well. Yeah, this one can be kind of creepy. This is where Ocarina of Time ventures into kind of the horror category of things. Uh, there's some really kind of scary stuff at the bottom of the well. So we're going to head there now. The first place we're going to go is Kakariko Village. Um, I just have a feeling we need to head over that way. So let, let's get going. And I almost jumped off the bridge. I mean, we're starting off really well, aren't we? <laughs> hey, hey, man. Alright, so here we go. Thanks for coming back. It means a lot that you guys are hanging out with me. I am enjoying this series immensely. So, uh, thank you. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure playing this game again. And as you can see, I have my bigger and sword out. And we're headed to Kakariko Village. I could have I could have called upon it, couldn't I? We could be jumping over those fences right now. Um, that's alright. I'll, I'll, I'll get her. We shall call Epona. Okay, so let's give her a call. And then we're going to head across Hyrule Field. And our first stop before we venture into the well will be Kakariko Village. Let's get over there. Hey girl, how are you doing? Hey. Haven't seen you in a little while. Hey. 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 I like to run through the grass. You can actually pick up items sometimes when you run through the grass. As I run out of stamina, I do the same thing in Breath of the Wild, right? Uh, check out one of my videos. 400 Bach Goblin kills and other kills. It's fantastic. Uh, made from over 20 hours of gameplay in Tears of the Kingdom. And Poner and I, just taking out enemies left and right. I wish this field was populated like that, right? With a bunch of NPC bad guys. But it's not. But Tears of the Kingdom is, and man, I have had a blast. But from those 20 hours, I made uh, a video. That's 21 minutes and 12 seconds long. Kind of appropriate. And uh, just check out my channel name. Here we go. Ganon. Get back, Link.
what is this? It's evil of what here. Yeah, we got the crap beat out of us, but we're still here. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the forces of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in, in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. And there, he or she, there she goes again. Oh, that princess. Okay. This is where, if you don't have it, you can go get the Song of Storms. However, I do already have this song. You get it by going inside the windmill. Hey. And talk to this guy. Oh no, a storm again? You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Grr. Yeah, he's pretty ticked off. And he has reason to be. Seven years ago, a little boy made a mess of things. And he's been pretty ticked off ever since. Okay, so. The Nocturne of Shadow is a really cool song. It's actually kind of the most complicated song that we've had yet. So, yeah. By playing it, it gives us access to a place right here in the graveyard, in this little village. It would have been nice to have before, wouldn't it? This is the first time we've been able to warp to this place. Now, right down there is where we're going to go in the next episode, okay? The Shadow Temple. However, without too many spoilers, what you can do is, after you warp here, guess, look, look where, where we are. We're up at the head of the graveyard. Something that we... We were here several times before in earlier episodes. So, leaving the graveyard brings us, of course, right back out to the village. There we go. Every time, right? How can a few nodes... Yeah. 
Okay. The Prelude of Light, not the Song of Time. Isn't it interesting how they named them, right? The Prelude of Light brings you to the Temple of Time. The Song of Time doesn't do that. Okay. You know what we do here, right? This is so iconic. That's right. We're time travelers, and we're going back in time. I've never really questioned the metaphysical reality of this switch, right? Because as an adult, Link, we have an adult body. And when we first became that, we were told that we were sealed away. I've never really asked the question to myself, and I'm doing it now. Which can be dangerous, because, I mean, too many questions, right? Um, what happens when you go back again? What happens to your body? Is it sealed again? P perhaps. I mean, I guess you just kind of think of the process in reverse. Um, I mean, there's so many ways in which you can do time travel, obviously. Um, I'm a huge fan of time travel in general. One of my favorite shows and time travel sci-fi projects is 12 Monkeys, the TV series. And in that, they have what's called splintering, where basically a particle accelerator breaks apart every particle in your body, and then you are transported... Darn it, I thought I missed him. You're transported through time that way. Um, however, I mean, there's been a lot of... The original 12 Monkeys did it kind of a similar way, the uh, Bruce Willis movie. Um, of course, you know about Back to the Future. Uh... This is, I love this thing right here. My, uh, yeah, the time, this actually has the, uh, the food processor on the back for energy. But yeah, and it has the floating wheels that's, that flip down, uh, the, the flying version. Anyway, I love my DeLorean. That's from Back to the Future. So, uh, I mean, who, who doesn't like those movies? Uh, one of the biggest, uh, time travel, uh, tropes that it, it took care of and, uh, took care of. One of the biggest time travel concepts that Back to the Future handled was the grandfather paradox. Okay? What happens if you travel back in time and kill a parent or a grandfather? Do you cease to exist? Because of course you are their progeny, right? You came from them. So if you kill them before they ever created you, do you cease to exist? And that's that's a paradox, okay? And and that in that is one of the beautiful things about time travel, is that paradoxical paradoxical nature of things that, that they can present. So, why are we going here? I'll show you. With the Song of Storms, okay. Yes, my Stone of Agony is going off right now. My my controller vibrating. So, let's take out our ocarina. That's not our ocarina. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Playing the Song of Storms. It opens up a secret. There we go. I hear stuff already. Let's get out some bombs. go. Bunch of bugs in here. A few prizes to be had. Another bomb. Blow that up. Take out our boomerang. Thank you. I hear something else. Do you hear it? This is the main this is the main reason why we're here. Right there. I don't really care about the regular one, but I want the gold one. And there we go. That's why we made this trip. The secret spots. 
at Hyrule Castle. Pretty cool. Okay, the next place we're gonna go is over at Zora's River. There is a piece of heart that we can get there using the Song of Storms here in the past as a child. There are five little friends that are waiting for us there in Zora's River. I do find it interesting also, right? Interesting continuity questions about time travel in that our wallet full of 500 rupees remains as we travel through time. So, isn't that kind of interesting? Um, I shouldn't be asking these questions. Let's just accept it and move along. <laughs> but, you know, I always think about the differences, right? What happens when you travel through time? What are the differences? And, uh, and how are the effects played out with the continuity? Because um, those things are very important questions when we talk about time travel. So off to Zora River we go. And we're going to get there. We're going to get to the bottom of the well. In fact, it's, I believe, our next stop. So right up here. Navigate this little maze of grass and dirt. Check out. See that log right there? Straight ahead? Yes. And actually, Navi is trying to tell us something. You see how she turned green right there? Yeah. Yeah, and check it out. Yeah, and she's relentless in reminding us about the well. We're going to get there, Navi. Don't worry. Um, see that frog? He's one of five, actually. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. So let's play the Song of Storms. Each time you play for these guys, they actually grow bigger. Piece of heart. Piece of cake. And I believe... See, where, where are we at with that? Yeah, that gave us another heart container. Worth the trip. Okay, I just completed another one. Okay, you can actually continue playing with them. Um, you can play, I believe, like all of the uh, songs in your repertoire, okay? Or most of them. And with that, you are granted little prizes along the way until there's finally a game that you play with the five frogs and you have to repeat all of their notes. Um, and it's a long succession of notes that you have to repeat. So anyway, um, yeah, easy piece of heart to get. That's why I wanted to go there. Gold Skulltella, always good. I'm glad we got that. So back to Kakariu. This is my little shortcut, by the way, walking along the water's edge. Uh, that way you don't have to navigate much else, and this makes things pretty quick. Because believe me, all this running around can take time. So here we are, back in the village. So much walking and running. Let's see, which one is it? Is it this one? Nope. Him? Yes, the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Piece of heart. 
Nice. That's because we have a 50, a 50 gold skull tallas now. So. Okay, now that we have gotten our piece of heart for our 50 gold skull tallas, we come up here. And we need to get to the bottom of the well, don't we? However, check it out. The well is currently full of water. Do you remember what that guy said, okay? He was pretty ticked off in the future. The, the man inside the windmill. There's a reason for that. Because in the past, where we are now, a young boy did something he shouldn't have. Playing the Song of Storms. Playing the Song of Storms makes this happen. Go around, go around. It's going way too fast. He, he looks like he's smiling, doesn't it? But believe me, I don't think he's happy. And then, check it out. It does go pretty fast. Okay. When we play the Song of Storms here in the past, it actually did something very cool. It emptied out the well. As you can see right there. Alright, so what we need to do is, we need to go down the well. The scary well. And, uh, instead of dropping down, you can actually do this. Here we go. Into the darkness. What, what evil lies ahead? I had to mess up that line, didn't I? What evil lies ahead? bottom of the well. Yes, this is a dungeon that you can only do as a child, and it is a necessity before we go on to the Shadow Temple as an adult in the future. So here in the past... Let's do it. Let's do this a different way. There we go. You wait till they expose their soft belly. All right. So Navi wants to tell us something. Anyway, she's alert. This is a really cool concept, and. This is carried on into the Shadow Temple as well. It looks like the way is shut. Lord of the Rings. However, that is a false wall. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the powers that be do not leave us empty handed with regard to all of these illusions. There is a tool, a mystical item, that we can use, and we need to acquire that item. And we shall. Navi is t telling us something. Play the Triforce song, that's what I call it. Zelda's lullaby. See the Triforce symbol in which we're standing? By playing that song right here? Yeah. It actually triggers the event. It's taking the water. The water was... Let me get out of the way in case that... Did he just come by? He did. Alright, I'm glad I moved. Uh, he, he makes the rounds. Big uh, square, basically. In the, this floor of this dungeon. So anyway. Um, there's also a bunch of unseen and hidden, not that guy, 
but um nice uh unseen and hidden holes that lead straight to the basement and there are some true horrors down there we have to venture there anyway but i don't want to fall randomly all right so let's make our way back around now that we've emptied the water from this level of the dungeon the place where we first entered is right here okay there's a the false wall recognize the skeleton however this was full of water it is now emptied out because we lowered the water we got some bombs nice and we have to go in here deeper and deeper into the abyss Thank you. I love it when they give me hearts. This is where the true horror begins. You have to let them grab you. It's really a disgusting way. I'm trying to shake my way out of it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, this guy's disgusting. I'm trying to move. There we go. There we go. Alright, so maybe not a forward slash there. There we go. goes away and we actually that's what that's when he reveals himself okay he will reveal himself when he actually grabs hold of you and man I am doing horribly here all right well, we're gonna get this he is exposed that's a good thing and he will only come and attack you when you get close enough all right now he goes away it's disgusting hand grab. Can you imagine what this guy smells like? It must be putrid. All right, would you let go of me already? Right, thank you. Target him. All right, he goes away again. He's grabbing. He's grabbing. All right, get on with it. That's right. Your limp, disgusting body. You just lay there. It actually is pretty creepy, right? There you have it, my friends. You found the lens of truth. This does use some of our magic power, okay? Which is fine, we have magic to spare. It shows up right here. And we can continue using this in the future. That's why we came here. We need the lens of truth in our inventory because it's very helpful in the next major dungeon as an adult. Okay, there are, we have the Lens of Truth, but there are several more goodies in which we could get in this temple. Uh, there are go some gold skull tellas, you can get a dungeon map, a compass, anyway, several more things. We are going to run right into that guy. I... 
we are going to go straight on to the Spirit Temple. And I hope you guys join me for that next time. So, I don't really have to do all this. I could just play the Prelude of Light right now. And that'll bring, it, bring us straight to... We can warp on over to the Temple of Time. Because now with the Lens of Truth... We can time travel to the future. And go to the Spirit Temple. gonna get our body out of cold storage. It's been hibernation mode. And we're back. So now we can play the Nocturne of Shadow. That will bring us straight to the entrance. You know what, though? There's something else that I want to do. I'm so flexible. What movie is that from? You guys probably know. I'm actually racking my brain right now. I can't let you guys go. I just can't. Um... Oh, it's killing me. What movie is that from? I'm so flexible. I can't let you guys go. I just can't. Oh, I can't. I shouldn't be brainstorming this with you guys live like this. Um, oh, my. It's Sherlock. I'm a big fan, by the way. The modern take on Sherlock. And uh, Moriarty at the end of season two. See, end of season one. I just went to the wrong place. My mind's on Sherlock now. At the end of season one, Sherlock meets Moriarty. They can then continue that scene in season two. And, oh, finding the place, finding the place. This it? There's something really cool we can do with, okay. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, Sun Song. Uh, anyway, at the season two, Sherlock meets Moriarty, and, and so does Watson. He's got a, a a vest, a bomb vest, strapped onto Watson. Okay, this is ben Benedict Cumberbatch uh, just before he became, of course, uh, Doctor Strange. Anyway, so uh, he's about to let them go, and then he goes, uh, "I can't let you guys go," and I. Uh, I'm so flexible. Anyway, it's Moriarty. Forgive me. I, uh, this is what I do. Okay, this is a really cool thing, which leads to a nice little prize. But now that we have the Lens of Truth, guess what? We can see through these treasure chests. And we can tell which one... This is so cool. Oh, there's the key. Nothing like cheating, right? Because otherwise, you're doing a bunch of 50-50 chances without the lens of truth, right? You don't know which one has the key. That's not a key. That's a key. Each key opens up each door in succession. There's one. Until we get to the prize at the end. Thank you. The best game in the world when you have the lens of truth. And finally, uh, not finally, but another key. And another door. And look, uh, talk about spoiler alert, right? 
Yeah, it's a piece of art. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. Oh, they don't... I want to just warp out of here, back to the Temple of Time. Play the Prelude of Light. They do not let you use... Which is, I guess, appropriate. That would be really rude, right? To uh, cheat the game, get the prize, and don't even leave the establishment. <laughs> We're just making everybody angry in the past. The windmill guy, this guy here. Let's just talk to him. I just want to thank him. That's right, yes. You're very welcome, sir. My pleasure to play. Okay. Now, the Prelude of Light. <clears throat> Ah, uh, just messed it up. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, in my previous videos, right? It's right there. Um, I was making fun of my really horrible memory. Okay, I, I, I'm playing this game for almost thirty years. I still don't have have half the songs memorized. Extremely sad. So I've been trying to do it from memory. Yeah, that's what I get. That beautiful example. But we're, we're here, guys. Let's grab our sword. And yes, we're going back to the future. Marty would be proud. Turn a shadow. Yes, we're going to the grave. I do get, hope you guys join me. Next time, we're taking on the Shadow Temple. And as you can see right here, we're in the graveyard in Kakariga Village. Standing on one of these warp points. Warp points? Symbols? And uh, let's do one thing before the... The Shadow Temple's right beyond that door. Okay? How do we open that door? Like this. Alright. That leads to the Shadow Temple. And we're going to do that next time. I thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure doing the bottom of the well. And we fought that dead hand guy. Super creepy. And uh, this is a little shorter video than normal. The main goal was to get the lens of truth. And we have the lens of truth now. Yes, we're in the future. We obtained that in the past. But as you can see right here. I have the Lens of Truth and I just activated it. So the point is, guys, right down this hallway is where we're going next. Please join me next time. This is Loud Boy. It's been a pleasure as usual. I thank you guys for your comments, all of your likes, and please, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. This is Loud Boy. You guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.